Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Secret Service just pounded down celebs' door and delivered karma after sick trick on Trump. President Trump has been doing an amazing job in the White House since he started occupying it in January of 2017. However, he's been faced with Democrats trying to take him down ever since he won the 2016 presidential election. Some slander his name and attempt to ruin his good reputation with the American people. Which is why this latest news story of a comedian who played a childish trick on him will not shock you, but it could make you lose a little bit of your faith in humanity along the way. The Hill reported. Comedian John Melendez claimed in a series of tweets late Friday night that the Secret Service came to his door after he says he tricked President Trump into speaking with him on the phone. Secret Service at my door, Melendez tweeted. I guess my old friend Donald wants to continue this. Stay tuned. Melendez made headlines Friday after he uploaded audio to his podcast, The Stuttering John Podcast, purporting to reveal him posing as Senator Bob Menendez, DNJ, and briefly speaking with the president about immigration. Melendez blasted the Secret Service attempt to arrest him as unbelievable, tweeting that they should arrest presidential adviser and son-in-law Jared Kushner for putting the call through. Shame on Donald Trump who has been a friend of mine for years, he tweeted. The comedian said that he did not answer the door and the agents left without arresting him, but that his neighbors said they showed their badges. Melendez also said that Michael Avenatti, the lawyer representing adult film star Stormy Daniels in her lawsuit against Trump, has offered to represent him if necessary. Michael Avenatti has agreed to consider repping me, but right now, seriously I'm in the lamb. I can't stay at my house because I have my kids this weekend and it's my last opportunity before I go the big house. That's my ex-wife's house. She got everything in the divorce. John Melendez, at Stuttering John, June 29, 2018. The Washington Post reported. On Thursday, John Melendez said he had prank called the President of the United States, on Air Force One no less, and was irked that the news media hadn't taken widespread notice of what, in his particular line of work, would amount to a Super Bowl victory. Two days later, Melendez said he stood quietly behind his front door, hoping that Secret Service agents who had come knocking would leave without a fuss. He said that agents later identified themselves to his neighbors. For Melendez, better known by his moniker on The Howard Stern Show, Stuttering John, the recognition that a wider audience was taking notice of his presidential prank had come in speedy, potentially arrestable fashion. In the call, posted on Melendez's podcast, the comic poses as Senator Robert Menendez, DNJ, and appears to be patched through to Trump while the president is aboard Air Force One on his way back to Washington after a rally in Fargo, North Dakota. Of course, it is difficult to independently verify whether Melendez actually reached the president. The prank could be on Melendez's listeners, not Trump. Neither the White House nor the Secret Service have returned calls to confirm Melendez's claims about the prank call and resulting visit. In the audio recording of the Stuttering John podcast, a voice that sounds a lot like President Trump says hi, Bob, before going on to congratulate Menendez. The New Jersey Democrat fended off a challenger this month in a closer-than-expected Senate primary after avoiding conviction in a federal corruption trial last year. You went through a tough, tough situation, and I don't think a very fair situation, but congratulations, says the voice that sounds like Trump's. Melendez and Trump then chat about immigration policy and the process of choosing a Supreme Court nominee before wrapping up their conversation a few minutes later. You take care, the voice that sounds like Trump says at the end of the call. I will speak to you soon, Bob. Take care of yourself. The supposed prank call with the president follows reports that Trump's use of government-issued smartphones may open him up to security risks. The president also faced criticism last year for discussing the sensitive issue of how the United States should respond to a North Korean ballistic missile test while on the terrace of his Mar-a-Lago club in Palm Beach, as waiters and curious patrons watched and snapped photos. Melendez who left Stern's show in 2004 and went on to work as an announcer for Jay Leno's Tonight Show, has long been known for ambushing celebrities with embarrassing questions. In one appearance, he asked Jennifer Flowers at her 1992 news conference about her affair with Bill Clinton, will you be sleeping with any other presidential candidates? What this foolish comedian does not understand is that he just greatly damaged the already acrimonious relationship between the press and the White House. That relationship is sacred to the democracy of the United States and he very well could have heard it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.